Greetings, YouTube. Today is a shout out. I had somebody reach out to me through my DeviantArt page because, let's face it, trying to get a private message through YouTube is almost impossible these days. Um, and he's been watching my RPG videos for over a decade, going all the way back to, to get my fourth edition Gamma World video where I talked about my favorite edition. And it is still my favorite edition of Gamma World. And his company is called Colossal Miniatures, and he makes 3D printable miniatures. Um, the little blurb on his page is, Colossal Miniatures is dedicated to sculpting high-quality 3D printer-friendly miniatures for RPG, tabletop gamers, and collectors of fine minis. And he said in his little DeviantArt message to me that he currently, currently has a selection of old-school inspired style D&D miniatures, um, but very shortly going to be doing some modern-day survivor stuff. Interestingly, he actually didn't give me a name other than Colossal Miniatures, which is his company's name, so it makes perfect sense, but he actually didn't give me his name name, um, which makes me smile. Uh, but uh, I thought I would give a shout out to this because I looked at the miniatures, they look cool, and if you're in the need of this kind of thing, and let's face it, with 3D printing right now, you can get some awesome things, and the price buy-in point is a lot, uh, a lot better for the most part than a lot of the things you're going to be buying from a big company. Um, and you can get more a more dynamic line of miniatures, I think, because you, an artist can come up with a design in their own head and get it out there to the public in a very short time span as opposed to the rollout time for a bigger company. It's like, you know, if you see a car on the street, that car has been worked on for like four or five years. That is not a new design. Everything that goes into that has to get okay before it rolls out that factory door. So, but when you're doing a handmade small object, it's much easier for a person to make it and get it out there rapidly than they can a big corporation. Same thing goes with anything else. So, he's going to be able to get designs that he likes and he wants out there for the public much more rapidly, which is cool because it means that you will probably be seeing a more diverse variety of miniatures in this type of environment than you would from a larger corporation. Um, so, go out and give it a check. Um, I will put the link below, at least if I remember correctly. I'm going to try really hard to remember correctly. Um, and I hope that he sees this and tells me what his name is. Because he didn't tell me his actual name. <laughs> I mean, my name's James. I don't know this dude's name. I'm assuming it's a dude. I apologize if I'm wrong. Um, but uh, let's, uh, let's talk about miniatures. Because sometimes they can really help us set a mood for a game. Um, and if you've got any talented painting, you can really make those things 